Hey, Phantomaniacs, welcome to the newest unboxing here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. This is Wet Garbage Wednesday because we are looking at Muckman and Joe Eyeball, who you can see on the beautiful embossed logo on the front of the slipcover there, uh, from Super 7's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Ultimates line. Let's go ahead and just get that slipcover off there. My gosh, I cannot wait to get this open. And this is heavy. This is a heavy figure, you guys. Lots to love here. Uh, huge. Possibly the biggest figure in the line yet. I think definitely, I don't know, he might, Bebop might have been a little heavier. I'm not positive. But my gosh, this guy, look at him. All right, back of the box, Muckman and Joe Eyeball, the garbage-gathering ghoul and his parasitic pal. Mutated with muck and transformed with trash, this fuming former sewer worker oozes mysteriously through the city's sewer system, searching for morsels of muck, sludge, and slime. Don't be fooled by the clothespin on his nose. That's not to keep the smell out. It's to keep the garbage in. But what does Muckman have besides a nose clogged with gunk? He's got Joe Eyeball, the amazing three-eyeballed, no-nose parasitic pal who decomposes his way through sewer pipes and can see through the thickest sewer stench. Unbelievable. Uh, this, <laughs> this is great, you guys. All right. We got to get right on into Muckman here. This is one of the ones I've been uh, really excited for. Uh, pretty much this whole line I, I love and, and I'm excited to see each release, but Muckman is a high water mark of the original Ninja Turtles line just for pure weirdness and, and disgustingness. And then we'll get into this in a minute uh, for Deco because the original figure just didn't have, you know, they're, they're on this line or on Playmates original line, they're not going to spend a ton of money uh, putting paint on every single little garbagey detail that this figure has. It's just not going to happen. But Super 7, you know, is going to treat things a little bit differently. All right. You got four pieces of tape on this guy because he's such a big bruiser. So my trusty 1964 box cutter is getting a little extra use today. The only thing in that bottom tray is his sewer bazooka, which we'll take a look at in a minute. We have got two twisty ties on this guy, again, because he is such a gargantuan behemoth. One on the waist, one on the head, but I do like how Super 7 does their twisty ties. They always have one end that sticks out way further, so it's very easy to get a handle on and, and uh, get them untwisted and free that figure. All right, I think that's everything. Gosh. Oh, look at this little guy. We'll get to him in a minute. And we'll talk a little bit about his design, because I'm reminded more than ever of the comic book inspiration for Joe Ivan. Oh, wow. Okay, that was a challenge. And I might not have been quite as careful as I, I know I should be, but whatever. He's out of there. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So, we've got a great ball-jointed head going on here. I like that quite a bit. Here is the question. Oh, baby. So, if you so desire, you can get some slime, some mutagen, some ooze, pour it in that head and watch it seep out of his mouth because Super 7 was thoughtful enough to recreate the feature of the original figure so that that can happen. Uh, and same thing on the back here, and we'll take a look at that accessory in a minute. Uh, that hole goes all the way through, so you can do the same thing with that garbage can on his back, but we got a lot to look at before we get to that garbage can. Uh, you can see his coveralls here, this is a separate soft plastic piece, which is a very interesting decision. Uh, I'm not sure why they did it that way, but it's really cool because it adds, you know, an extra layer of interest to the figure. Uh, and you can see all of this trash now has painted detail 
And I went in on my Muckman figure when I was a kid and painted in a lot of the detail uh, because it bothered me so much that he had so many beautiful little details that, that you couldn't make out. Uh, but you can see the fishbone here, the spider, uh, little apple core back here, soda bottle, all of this stuff that was just green uh, or orange on the original figure is now painted in fully visible. Uh, really, really incredible. Look at this. Okay, so he's got his little teddy bear in here. Uh, he's got, I guess, this wiring or veins or arteries. Who knows? Uh, another nasty spider. But look at the way this waist piece is done. Uh, you can see this is a soft plastic piece, but the way they sculpted the ooze to blend in with the body portion right there. So again, he's got a, okay, you can see it here. He's got the, the cut joint that I dislike so much, but it works pretty well within that waist piece. Look at the frog. Whatever the heck is going on here, this is just part of him with like a centipede crawling out of it. Uh, and the little garbage can down here, a little container of milk. And then this, one of my favorite things about this figure is this giant manhole cover foot. Uh, such a, a weird, nice touch and gives him obviously a great base to stand on. Ugh, just disgusting. And, and oh, okay, so we've got, I can see I had the joint turned there. Uh, so you've actually got the knee joint there. And then you turn this. Oh, weird. Okay. So that's, I don't know which way that's quote unquote supposed to go. Uh, so the ankle pivots that way. Oh, wait, does that turn? Whoa. Okay. So it looks like this, and it may not do this. Oh, it does. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to mess with it too much right now because I don't want to bore you guys with me sitting here fiddling with a joint for five minutes. This turns right here. So you can see the knee joint is here facing the way it should right now. And this is on a pivot. So it really is sort of a standard action figure ankle joint. There we go. There we go. And turn it that way, and so now your ankle lines up uh, with ah, that's wild. Okay, I'll f I'll figure out how I want to position that later. But look at just all the the junk sculpted and painted in there, unbelievable. Uh, all the disgusting mushrooms on his arm, a big giant fly, a flower what was it, a silverfish, I guess. Ugh, absolutely repulsive. And then the beautiful. Uh, bones sticking out here. The ulna and the radius, is that correct? Am I remembering that right? A uh, little soda can back here, very clearly meant to be Coca-Cola, but it's just soda. Oh gosh, this is unbelievable. And then that hideous face, look at those glossy eyeballs, all of the tentacles. Uh, he's basically got like a tentacle beard. Uh, he, he looked like, if, you, if you've seen the Pirates of the Caribbean movies and Davy Jones, like Muckman was sporting that look a long time before Davy Jones was. And then his little, uh, his little ID badge right there that I cannot read the print on. I uh, might need to get a little stronger reading glasses, but anyway, beautiful detail on that. And you can see that he doesn't look completely different as a trash uh, creature than he did as a human. Beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. One of the best releases so far uh, from Super 7's Ultimates line. All right, let's 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 move along because there's so much more to take a look at. Uh, we'll set old Muckman to the side there. He has his bazooka, which is made of soda cans and uh, I guess a milk bottle and has all kinds of disgustingness uh, all over it. Nice little paint detail. Turtle soup. Just a can of turtle soup was used on that one. That seems a little messed up. Tomatoes right there. Looks great. And then the front, you can see the black paint right there to give it that nice uh, look of actually being hollow. 
and on the back as well. Great. Fantastic. Why does a bazooka need a sight? A little weird. All right, or a scope, I guess. Now, Joe Eyeball, named on the packaging. He's in a little protective sleeve right there. Uh, this character reminds me very much of a character from the comics, uh, particularly the head design. It's a little girl that the turtles end up having some adventures with. So Joe Eyeball originally was a completely non-articulated, non-painted minifigure that was included with Muckman. Uh, again, I went in as a kid and painted my Joe Eyeball. I painted eyeball detail and teeth and everything on him. I wish I still had those figures. I don't. Uh, but the, the level of sculpt and paint on this guy is wonderful. We've got uh, the head is on a ball joint with a little bit of range. Uh, and then the arms are just swivels, but that's fine. I mean, this is more than we could have ever expected from a Joe eyeball. Uh, and then a little tail coming up right around the side there. Absolutely disgusting little creature. I love it. Oh, wait. Okay, hang on. Are these? No, these are separate pieces, but they're not articulated. That, and that's fine. I don't, I don't need that. Wonderful. Fantastic. And, of course, Joe Eyeball rides along in Muckman's garbage can backpack. Again, beautiful painted detail on this one. We're going to find out how well this plugs in. It has the same kind of setup with a slot at the top so you can tell which way it goes in. Hopefully it's going to plug right in. We'll see. Might take a little work because I, I would rather it be difficult to get in there and be secure than not fit as snugly as I'd want. Might need to heat this up. It's like the bottom wants to go in, but the top part is not having it. Okay, so I'm going to have to heat this up. As I've mentioned in my other reviews, it's a little cooler down here in the Phantom Zone than it normally is, so the plastic is not room temperature pliable. Like it. Oh, wait a minute. I think I got it. No, I didn't. <laughs> um the softer plastic is not room temperature pliable like it should be uh, so because it's a little cool down here. So uh, I will heat that up later. It'll plug right in. I can tell. Uh, but you can see this is hollow. So you can pour your mutagen or slime or ooze in there and it will come out of Muckman's, uh, the hole that goes through his torso. And of course, you want to stick Joe Eyeball in there so it can be carried around as his pal. Ah, this is beautiful. This is wonderful. I'm so happy with this figure, you guys. Gosh, I wish I could. I mean, I, all it's going to take is heating this up for like 10 seconds, and it's because this is a softer plastic, and it'll plug right in there and stay put. I just don't want to mess with it right now. Uh, all right, last thing. Uh, he's got some extra hands. He's got one hand with like some really disgusting booger mucus action going on between the fingers. And then... Another hand that is just a disgusting ball of grossness. I don't even know what this hand is for, but it is grossing me out. So there you go. I mean, it's his left hand, obviously, but it's just nasty. Gross. All right, you guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I love Muckman. I love disgusting, gross-out toys, and he is one of the best. Uh, Super 7 has done a wonderful job updating this guy and his little friend uh, for the modern era. Please like, subscribe, share, tell your friends about Needless Things, and tune in for more brand new toy reviews in the coming weeks and months here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. Gross! Smash that like button if you like Needless Things.